This is going to be at the start of a new series that's specifically for researchers that are looking for interesting research topics, specifically surrounding COVID. One giant gap in literature is that we know that COVID does damage to blood vessels, but this has not been adequately quantified. If you start looking through the literature, most of this is actually focused on microcapillaries, which is great, but we don't have any of the greater vessels. We don't have any of the major vessels such as the um, IJ, the subclavian, the aorta, the femoral vessels. These things are majorly lacking. And I suspect that there's going to be significant irregularities along the length of these great vessels and an overall reduction in diameters. Now, there's a couple different ways that I would go about a study to quantify this. And I'll start with the easiest lowball one. This would be cadaveric studies that have very detailed history of people who have been infected by COVID, how many times they've been infected by COVID, and then ideally with a control group of cadavers that have not been infected by COVID. Maybe this could even predate the pandemic, getting normalized values um, for different ages, different sexes, different uh, ethnicities, and then um, doing some sort of concentricity measurement or a regularity measurement. Maybe you could transect the vessels and um, actually get topographic scans of them to uh, quantify smoothness or roughness. I think that would be the easiest um, lowball thing. And then if you are interested in the heart chambers, that's another big thing that's missing is quantifying any damage that happens within the chambers of the heart. But I think the more impactful thing is going to be getting um, CT scans um, of individuals and these would have to be high resolution CT scans where you would therefore go through and segment the different vessels and um, quantify all those factors we just talked about. I think the most important thing, the most high impact point of this future paper would be to compare uh, 1 verse 2 verse 3 verse 4 verse 5 verse 6 etc infections, documented infections with PCR tests. Um, even with rapid antigen tests, so long as there's some form of uh, quantitative documentation of the number of times people have been impacted. And if you have a longitudinal study of the same person after multiple infections, that would be the highest quality. So obviously, you would have to control for things like age. You'd have to control for things like gender. You'd have to control for things for sex. You'd have to control for things like um, ethnicities or races. And ideally, you'd want a widespread of these things. But I would expect for all of these people that the um, surface irregularities and the overall um, um, systolic or diastolic diameters of these things would uh, be shrinking on average with the increasing number of infections. Uh, and that's for the diameters for the surface irregularities, the surface roughness of the inner walls. Um, of the vessels, I would expect that to be increasing with number of infections. And if this is found to be the case, which I suspect it is, then I would be very interested to see what blood flow ver through um, vessels that have the same roughness, um, like these could be constructed 3D printed vessels, of the same roughness of a healthy individual versus the surface roughness of a high infectious and a uh, high number of infection individuals, so higher uh, roughness versus a lower number of infection uh, individuals and show um, how the turbis, turbidity of the blood changes uh, with this change in surface roughness to see if it actually causes blood vessels to become, or yeah, blood, um, the blood to become damaged itself. If you have um, hemolysis or something else that's happening, I think that would make for a very nice, neat study. So if you want to take that up, be my guest and feel free to acknowledge me in the paper at the end but that's one huge gap in the literature that I see, and I see many, so I'll keep uh, putting up these research topics for y'all.